applications of PCR. Now we have discussed different variations of the basic PCR reaction. Although while discussing uh, different type of PCR, briefly we also discuss its application that for what purpose it has been developed and uh, why it can be used. No, PCR it has been widely used uh, in in the discipline of life sciences. Either it is a field of uh, molecular biology, genetic engineering, or any other discipline that is of biological sciences. Now, one of the technique that we are going to discuss is that uh, it can be used in the study of uh, gene cloning and expression. If you remember, if uh, uh, while discussing we uh, like uh, cloning strategies, we discussed that how PCR it can be used to screen uh, different uh, uh, genomic libraries or uh, in the cloning procedure. Uh, what is the role of PCR? Normally, while isolating or screening of, uh, of our gene of interest, normally we uh, extract the DNA and it can be digested with restriction enzyme and after digestion it can be ligated uh, with a particular carrier molecule that is the vector so that we can uh, produce recombinant molecules and then it can be uh, inserted into the uh, target organism that is transformation step is there and after transformation uh, the laborious process of screening it can be uh, started. So uh, in, uh, in normal process of genetic engineering where whole genome is involved so different uh, recombinant molecules can be produced that also contain our single gene of interest among uh, thousands of molecules so in this way we are going to produce gene or genomic libraries. These gene and genomic libraries they are the representative of whole genome and we are going to isolate our gene of interest. So it is very uh, time consuming process, laborious process, need lot of expertise. But this procedure it can be made more selective when we are going to use PCR. PCR use करने के लिए जरूरी है कि हमारे पास gene से related specific primers भी हों। इसका मतलब है कि अगर हमने किसी gene को target किया है, तो उसका हमें knowledge होना चाहिए कि उसका sequence क्या है, ताकि हम उससे जो specific primer हैं, वो design कर सकें। अगर तो हमारे पास ये knowledge है, तो जो first step हम use करते हैं कि the construction of genomic libraries उसको avoid किया जा सकता है। इसमें हम प्राइमर कंस्ट्रक्शन के बाद हम स्पेसिफिक एम्पलीफाई करते हैं जो हमारा टारगेट जीन होता है ताकि उसकी बहुत सारे कॉपीज प्रोड्यूस हों देन आफ्टर एम्पलीफिकेशन अ स्पेसिफिक जीन इट कैन बी लाइगेटेड इनटू द वेक्टर एंड देन ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन इट कैन बी इंड्यूस्ड सो इट इज रिलेटिवली सिंपल प्रोसेस इफ वी आर गोइंग टू यूज पीसीआर सो दैट वी कैन गेट आवर टारगेट डीएनए amplified by using this technique. So, so here PCR it is also uh, playing uh, its role in gene cloning. Uh, on the other hand once the organism has been transformed then different uh, screening strategies it can be uh, employed like uh, if we have used the genomic DNA uh, insert that uh, has been amplified by the PCR and even we discussed that uh, uh, messenger RNA it can be converted into cDNA so that the cDNA cloning it is there and again uh, the messenger RNA it can be amplified by using PCR so cDNA it can be ligated into the vector so that it can result the cDNA libraries our genomic DNA library. So both of these libraries, once they are formed, they can again be screened by using PCR. Traditionally, 
how we are going to screen uh, the cDNA libraries are uh, genomic libraries that uh, sequencing technique it can be used okay humne jo gene insert kiya hai usko isolate kare uska sequence karke dekhe ki kya ye hamare target gene se uh, relate karta hai ya nahi karta so sequencing it can be performed and uh, uh, sometime the probe can be used by the process of uh, hybridization to detect the target uh, insert of the dna or a particular gene in addition to that uh, in our, in order to detect the protein product immunological technique can be used but again here the pcr it is also playing role in the screening strategies that whether a particular organism it has been transformed or not so here uh, the dna from the uh, transformed organism it can be isolated and then specific amplification it can be uh, used by using some specific primer with the help of pcr technique so pcr again it is uh, uh, showing that uh, a particular uh, target gene it is present in that host organism or not so pcr it has uh, been extensively used in the cloning of the genomic dna or the complementary or cdna and in addition to that it can also be used in the screening of the genomic or cdna uh, libraries so it also find its application in the field of gene cloning or genetic engineering